What's up, babes and buds? I'm hitting the road. I want you to come see me. In December, I'll be uh, the 4th and 5th at the West Palm Beach Improv. December 10th in Boston at the Chevalier Theater. That's going to be a big one. Boston, you always come out hard. I can't wait to see you guys. This is a big one for me. Atlantic City, Saturday, December 11th. That's basically a local show for me. I've never played AC. Can't wait for all my friends and family will be there. Come see my dad and everyone that's been on the show. He's so excited for it. Uh, and then the week of December 26th through December 31st, come see me and Chrissy D co-headline. We're going to be at Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, St. Louis, Columbus, and then New Year's Eve. We are partying in Cincinnati. The pimp will be there. We'll all be there. All tickets on sale right now at SavileCounterComedy.com. And 15 more cities are going to be added for January and February. So please check out SavileCounterComedy.com for updates. Love ya. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm Everything taste is buds. gonna be good, is what Sal just said to me. Taste buddies. <laughs> How are you all? Welcome to T A S T E Buds. Uh, bit of a stressful day. Yeah, yeah. For but me. You, yeah, well, you're going through, it's to be expected. TBE. Yes. You're opening a bar. TBE. A sandwich shop bar. And I've got BDE. BDE. Big Dick Energy. Okay. Okay. Right. I don't know. Oh, what just, does that mean? That you're like, you're worked up? No, I was just, because you said TBD. Okay. No, wait, that TBE. means TBE. Do you not, be expected. Which I know, made up. Do you not know Big Dick Energy? That's no, a, I, I didn't. I never really, it, I don't have it in memory as BDE. You know, it didn't pick that up. Somebody texted that to me today. That's why it was in my head. Okay. And then you just said the other. What is it? Just like when you when you just cool or something like that? Or you, like you you walk around like you got a big dick. Okay. Yeah. Which I don't. But what does that constitute? I don't walk around. I don't have or walk around like I have. No, no. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, at least. Uh, <laughs> and meanwhile, the business you're opening is 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 a is a double entendre of a penis joke. No, hard eight. Yeah, Joey Roses. Yeah, no, hard eight is <laughs> craps. What? It's craps. Oh uh, sure. No, that's what we we named it after craps. Well, eight sandwiches for eight dollars. It's the hard eight. It's uh, like the double fours when you get the double fours. Yeah, I never picked up on that. That's really I you were naming it after a penis joke. No. Did you? No, Jesus. I said this to you on air to your face one time. I, I quipped. <laughs> I said, this coming from a guy who names his business after a penis joke. <laughs> did I, what did I say? You, the uh, same explanation? No, you didn't. You, I never heard that explanation until this second. And wow. nor, uh. and where is my mind that I've never even attached it to crap? But now you have me on that. I don't know if I can unsee it. Right. It is tough to unsee. Yeah. Come but- and get the hard eighth. <laughs> I mean, it is provocative. It was unintentionally provocative. I didn't realize. You know what's funny? I didn't realize it sounded like that, which, which is funny because you're saying, I, how could you have missed the, the crafts reference? I never thought it sounded perverted until I did Seth Herzog's podcast, and he said, what is the handle so I can plug it? And I said, it says Joey Rose's Heart 8. Yeah. And he goes, that's perverse. Yeah. And I was like, no, it's, oh, wait, I guess it does sound perverse. Like, I yeah. didn't realize it, yeah. Anyway, but you're you're putting the bar together, and you, you, yeah. you're it's culminating because it's maybe by the time this airs, it will have, have opened. I, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're a week out from your opening, two weeks maybe. So we shoot this a little like yeah. a week or two behind. Usually. Yeah, yeah. You're seeing this. Uh, we should be open when you're seeing this, um, but come down. No, to no, the wait. Stab. Wait a minute. Wait, when does this episode drop, Pimp? Um, I don't know, in the future. Yeah, because okay. we have... <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> in the yeah. year 2000. All right. All right. Do you know that reference? I love Conan. Okay. I right. love but this Conan. is not our Thanksgiving app. Hold, I'll tell you right now. No. Uh, Reese's, did Reese's air yet? Reese's yeah. is out. It did. This so week. the next app is Halloween Kid vs. Halloween Adult, which and then we did two November last time. 1st. Uh-huh. And then we did November 8th and 15th. This is slated to air November 22nd. This is Thanksgiving. Oh, you have a lot to give thanks for. Hold on, let me look up the account. I'll tell you. Holy right shit! Now. Man, we didn't do any of the shit we said we were going to do for the holiday. November twenty second, boo. Yeah. So, uh, if I hope the bar better be open by the time you're saying this, or it means even more shit <laughs> has become. <laughs> Bro, just so that they understand at home, right now it's June two thousand seventeen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just came up with the idea of opening a bar an hour ago. 
yeah, this it should be open and and hopefully uh, pumping gas at this point. But uh, but you know. Yeah, you know, but it's but right now as we record this, it is not open. It's approaching the opening, and it is very stressful. Look yeah. at look at that. Look at that. I'm not even doing that on purpose. I was just <sighs> doing that. Like I, it's just your, your hand. For those of you listening, his hands are trembling. <laughs> well, and it was clenched too. Oh, clenched, clenched. Yeah. Oh, because when you they showed me, trembling. also trembling and clenched, double whammy. <sighs> big bucks, big bucks, no whammies, and. Stop. Stop. Stop uh, at I, four. <laughs> what, what's, what's the big thing to get on that? Pressure luck. Pressure luck. It's uh, an, an extra spin, right? That was the big thing. Free spin? Yeah. Big bucks, no way. That was all you wanted was free spin? Well, you wanted the money with the free spin on it so you can keep going, right? Oh. I, man, <laughs> man, I loved that show. You want a little trivia? Yeah. Do, do you know? remember the name of the host? Wink Martindale. No, that's another host. I know, I know. Uh, and it's a good guess if you're taking a stab. Peter Tamarkin. <laughs> Peter Tamarkin. Peter Tamarkin. Uh, I have trivia. Do you know the name of the dad from Blossom? Okay. His real name or his... his real name. Uh, I can't place My him. My favorite actor I name of all I time. I can't place him. Ted Wass. Ted Wass. <laughs> I don't know why I love that name. Ted Wass, the dad Wait, from Blossom. That, yeah, Ted Wass is the dad from Blossom, or he's the other dad on My Two Dads. Pimp, can you can you can Paul you riser and the guy with the beard? Yeah, the hip, Ted the Wass might be the dad. No, no, no. T just put Ted Wass at W A S S. Yeah, dad from Blossom. Ted Wass. Great. Oh, I don't even it's remember a great him. name. Um, uh, but I was going to ask you about uh, Blossom for a second. Now that you touched on it, yeah. Is is that the one that goes in my opinion nation? Yes, the sun is gonna surely yeah. one shine. One of just one of the hundreds of awful Randy Newman songs that yeah. exist. What is opinionation? That's what Randy Newman does. He says like, oh, he like, makes up words he's like goofy and he, well, I mean, he, I I shouldn't say that's what he does, but like that's a very Randy Newman kind of you know. Randy Newman is I love L.A. LA. We love it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all his. No, yeah. I know, but but still, I always sing in my opinion nation, yeah. and I'm like, am I saying this right? Yeah, n yeah, no, it's just a, dumb, a word he made up. Dumb word he made up. We can't play this on the pod though, right? Pip? No, no, definitely can't. Oh, yeah. is this the Bloss? Oh, okay. Yeah, this there was um, no, getting all depressed. <laughs> Blossoms, look at look at Joey Lawrence. Look at the look at this dancing. Mind. Look at this dancing. Terrible. Blossom was the opening to Blossom. I love that this kid was clearly like, I'm not dancing. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm not dancing. Oh, Every wow. other Jenna kid. Von what what is this show about? What is uh, this? Blossom. It's about the coming of age of a young girl from 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 like about tween to like oh, eighteen, man. and uh, it's surprisingly edgier than you'd think really? it is. Really? What is? Yeah. A, what is? Yeah. The um, brother has like a is a recovering drug addict, like a legit oh, okay. recovering drug addict. They get into like the kids having like sex and stuff, like they're losing their virginity. I ready? It's, it's heavy, oh, wow. way heavier. Blossom than you think versus it's... Punky Brewster. Who you got? Jesus, Christ. I'll take Blossom. All... <laughs> that could be a battle. I'll take Blossom all day. Long. No way. I'll take Blossom Punky all Brewster, day. Punky like, Brewster, like whoa. Punky uh, Brewster was so late moon fry. Punky Brewster was left outside a shopping center by her father. I'll take Blossom all day long. Nah, you're wrong. Blossom's mom. I'll battle left. you on that shit. Ba ba <laughs> also, right, Jenna Von Oy, battle. who's Blossom's best friend? Because I thought she was uh, Gibbler. Six. Six, six, right? No, Gibbler is Six versus house. Gibbler, yeah. That's another good battle. Uh,. I, I would definitely do Blossom versus Punky Brewster. They just rebooted Punky Brewster, and Blossom is still on TV. They rebooted Punky Brewster? Yeah. Where she's going to play Punky I've Brewster? I've never Her. Heard of this. She's like the mom now. She's like a mom with kids. She's. She's. <laughs> she's Punky Soli Brewster. Right, is an adult it's a, Punky Brewster? Yeah, it's a sequel series where she's grown up now, and like she's got a daughter. My balls are blown off. <laughs> when does it start? What's the network? What's the streaming and, platform? Babe, it came and went. It was it on Peacock. It already happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, they call her Punky as a mom? No, it's called Punky Brewster. Right, but she was Punky Brewster. <laughs> no, I know. She's Punky Brewster. So as a mom in the show, they were like, hey, Punky. Oh, I thought you were asking if the show was called Punky as a mom. No, no. the show's just called Punky Brewster. I'm saying, is she referred to as Punky Brewster? She's right there. She's smoking hot, too. She's a real cute... Shout I, out to I love her full style. Look, she's still wearing the overalls. 
Oh yeah, Soleil Rune Fry. Very <laughs> very sexy vibes. What do you look? What's the matter? I got a gnat in here. Um, isn't that the girl from Full House? <laughs> uh, I am right? on board. I'm going to oh, watch sure, this. Sure. Maybe because after Full House came out, they were like, "Let's." No, start that's not her. Me. That she kind of looked like the daughter from Full House. It's not the same actor. Um, so yeah, so the he, first time, uh, what's her name walked on? Jody Sweden is that her name? Yeah. That's when Kimmy she walked Gibbler. on the new one. I made a nice, a nice on the fly quip there. I went, whoa, more like full blouse. <laughs> oh, God. It was the wait, discernible oh, wait, difference. No, Sweden is the daughter. Oh, my yeah. the sister, the younger sister. <laughs> it she was a discernible difference. Enormous fake breasts. <laughs> yeah. 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 I saw her in God real bless. life. I was at a party. I was at a party at the house of the guy who created Full House. All right? <laughs> when I lived in you LA. You had a Full House party. Yeah. And you can imagine this man has quite a house. He's made quite wow. a bit of money in his time. Wow. But I was at a party at his house, and the entire crew was there. Saget, Stamos. Do you know Saget? I know Saget a little bit. Yeah. I like to say hello or whatever. Yeah. But the whole crew was there. Saget, Stamos. Cut uh, it out? Younger sister. No, Olsons weren't there. No, cut it out. Coulier uh, was there, I believe. Coulier. I believe Coulier was there. Uh, and then the two, the main two daughters... Cameron, Cameron, Ca and Sweet, Cameron, uh, Ca Kirk, Cameron, yeah, uh, Candace Cameron, yeah, they were both there. Um, wow, but yeah, she. Well, oh, our bosom looks considerably smaller here in this interview. Here. Well, they're shooting them flat. They're shooting it flat, long okay. lens. It just was a uh, you know jarring. Yeah, I That's remember all. seeing her and being like, whole, like I remember f f finding her extremely attractive. Who? Jody Sweden in real in like real life is adult. Yeah. Oh, right. oh yeah, I was there two years ago. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I'm okay, saying at, at the, the party. party. At the party. At the I'm saying that like, she walked wow. in and I was like, whoa, like, cool. You know, she's like kind of. Now, were slamming. you the guy who shot shot your shit? Like, did you do a full house bit to them? I didn't even talk to him. Okay. I didn't talk to we're, any of them. The one odd, awkward moment was Stamos. You just kept bringing I up kept family looking matters. At, you know when you keep looking at somebody because you can't stop? <laughs> oh. oh. My eyes kept going it was to Stamos in the flesh. My eyes kept going to Stamos, and he did notice it eventually. Oh. To be honest, to, to, to <laughs> but play, I couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop to, glancing to at him. To play devil's like, ad yeah. for you, everybody's eyes go to Stamos. Dude, he is gorge in I real know. life. He was. He, guess who he was? He's standing aging with? like a. He's what aging like a. Whoo, like a like a like a like a Camus. Yeah, dude, he's gorge. This was uh, this was a who's who. He's over in the corner with Scott Bakula. <laughs> Whoa! Quantum leap. Yeah, quantum leap. Scott Bakula. I'm standing in a Dude, corner. Dude, it was it was it was it was uh it was the full slate of programming. It was for <laughs> must see TV. Wild. I'm in a corner. I'm in a corner with Burr and Mike Binder, star of Mind of the Mar HBO's Mind of the Married Dude, Man. man. <laughs> it was a scene, man. What what is going on at this house party? Why is this house party existing? Bob Saget's birthday, I believe. Some of the Beach Boys were there. They performed at the house. Oh, that's Uncle Jesse's crew. It was Je wild, uh, dude. Samos performs with them. Yeah. yeah. Norman Lear was there. I met Norman Lear. I like you met? I met Norman Lear. Norman Lear. I met him. I sat and talked to him for a little while. He, he, I mean, he must have been 90 years old. He's old. <laughs> he, he's, he's alive still, yes. He's still alive. He's 99. <laughs> he told... Okay, this is a real story that happened. He told Burr... You spoke to Norman Lear? Yes. My favorite show of all time is The Jeffersons. I met the man. Wow. My, one of my top fives is All in the Family. Wow. So it was wild. But he told Burr at that party... Because Burr actually talked to him for a while. I think they smoked a cigar together or something. And, like, Burr said at that party to him, your body of work is incredible. Like, I mean, it's just you must look back on it and be so proud. And Norman Lear said, I'm not done yet. I'm rebooting uh, one day at a time with an all-Hispanic, at the time it was Hispanic, wasn't Latinx yet, cast. And it was, like, a year later that, that it, Netflix reboot. Is Latinx the new, the new? I think so. Really? I think so. Is Hispanic not right? I mean, I'm, I don't I'm know. Hispanic. I'm I didn't know that. I'm trying to cover my... Oh, that's right. So I can say whatever. Well, you can Hispanic. say whatever you want. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was covering my tracks. I got nervous. <laughs> you, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Just now, in your mind, you uh -huh. said it was a Hispanic cast. I mean, Latinx. Right. You said that for my benefit? No, I said it because I forgot that you were part Latinx. <laughs> yeah. 
and I thought it was too. I've never called myself essentially Latinx. white man on a couch, and I got nervous that I was going to get canceled because no, I said I'm, Hispanic. No, no, I'm your I'm your Hispanic Robin Quivers. And then yeah, so there you go, exactly. <laughs> there you go. So uh, <laughs> no, but I, I actually don't um, let it's Latinx instead of Latino because la, the, the X covers. Oh, that's right. Is is that what it is? I, so maybe I, I he said. I don't Latin, even know this. I can't remember what he said. But, but why I know is it Latinx? You're supposed to say Latinx now. Used as a gender neutral. That's right. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Oh, because Latino is male. And the Latino O is, is in female. Spanish. The O is oh, um, masculine. Oh, so then maybe you still can't say Hispanic. You just didn't say but, Latino or. Latina. But is that how you pronounce it, though, pimp? Can you hit that? It is Latinx. Yeah. Latinx. All right, take oh, it Latinx. easy, guy. Take it easy, pronunciation guy. Latinx. <laughs> oh my God. Well, now I'm worried because I said it wrong. God. Well, you Latino. Can't, you yeah, can't win a, this day. It it is is I'm going to clip this part. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, 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 good. Clip it. Yeah, wait, clip you, it. It's a wait, good wait, clip. Wait, you call it Latinx, which doesn't make sense because it's not, it's not Latino. <laughs> it's Latino. So he's Latinx. He's right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I said it wrong. Yeah. Anyway. Norman Lear at that party told Bill Burr about the One Day at a Time reboot that dropped a year later, which was kind of... I never even saw that come and go. Yeah, that was on Netflix for like five years, dude. What? This was a while ago. This was about six years ago. <laughs> I said two. This was about six years ago. Sing, sing the opening. I got it already. Sing the opening. Sing, sing the song to One Day at a Time. Couldn't remember it if you had a gun to my head. Really? I was never a big One Day at a Time fan. This is it. This is oh, it. yeah. Actually, I'm saying, oh yeah, no, I don't Keep remember. Keep on doing what you do, and our days will run on through one day at a time, one day at a time. So hop on your feet, hop on your feet, and uh, you don't yeah, know it. I don't remember. You know what? I recently test me on any I, any eighty you know any eighty sitcom. Test me. I got you. Any test me. any eighty sitcom. I might not know every word, but I'll get the melody and I'll get some of the words. Jeff Foxworthy show. I don't know that. Empty nest. Uh huh. Not uh -huh. a chance. Uh, no, I, I know empty nest. I used to love empty nest. Oh, I know him. Richard Venus. Mulligan. Yeah, Richard Mulligan. His finest. Uh, and then I, I could sing you Dear John right immediately. Yeah, Dear John. Dear, dear John. By yeah, the time you read these lines, Judd Hirsch. I'll be gone. Followed up taxi. Life goes on. <laughs> yeah. Right or wrong. Becker. Empty nest. Or that's 90s. Uh, that's 90s. Empty nest, I feel bad because I know I know it, but I don't know if empty nest. Does Empty Nest have lyrics? It 100% has lyrics? has lyrics. I don't remember it, but I promise Pim, you with it an empty had nest. lyrics. I think it might be, I think that might be instrument. I don't think so. Well, if you hit it, I'll sing it. Theme song lyrics. Life goes on and so do we. Oh, and how we do it is no mystery. We, we one shared by one. it all as life goes on. Yes. One by one. Yes. Yeah, yeah you're good. Yes, yes. You're good, yes. you. Uh, Just need that little one. Um. Taxi didn't have lyrics. Uh, ta not for nothing. When Taxi came on when I was little, I wanted to just, I wanted I want to just to shoot myself. myself in the head. <laughs> it is the most depressing. It's a sitcom. It came on at like eleven thirty, syndicated, and I'm up as a kid, and it's like, Doo -doo -doo -doo. it's so sad. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's so sad. That and Mash. Mash is oh. Mash. Now here's the thing. Mash is sad all the way through the song, yeah. and it's to this day is sad. But, <laughs> but you know, but I bought a vinyl. Of I forget the guy's name, but he's one of the most sampled artists. He's a jazz guy. Yeah, I know from the seventies. One of the most sampled hip hop artists ever. Not Herbie, he's not a hip -hop. Herbie Hancock. No, he's not a hip hop artist. He's like the whitest dude on planet yeah. Earth. Is he the guy that did the Golden Girls? No. Okay, but he's like the whitest dude on planet Earth. Yeah. He's a jazz pianist. Yeah, pianist, and he is Bob James. Bob James has been sampled in hip hop seven hundred thirty four wow. times. Wow. Um. But anyway, I bought the Bob James record of Taxi. George Benson. And when that theme kicks in, it's like a stone groove. It's really? awesome. Really? It's just the beginning is very misleading. Whereas MASH, all the way through, you want to jump off a fucking... It was a stone groove, my man. Yeah, exactly. You are the most righteous. Yeah, yeah just get the fuck out. <laughs> Shout out yeah. Trading Places. Yeah. Uh, do I you say know, stone groove all the time because of that movie. Is that what you say? It? I yeah, love that. I say it all the time. Um, Here's my two dads. What was the other one? That, oh, I love Gary Shandling. Isn't Gary Shandling also, uh, what's his name? Randy Newman? That's Apatow. This no. is the, no Gary. Oh, no, this it's is Gary the theme to Gary show. Show. Yeah, that's Randy Newman. I don't think it is. This is a theme to Gary show. I mean, he might have opening theme to maybe Gary it is. show. Gary called me up and asked if I would write his theme song. I don't think it's Randy. I'm Newman. I'm almost halfway finished. How do you like it so far? How do you like designing the theme women? Give me the theme. Uh, I would need to hear it. Deep cut. Oh, Deep cut. Delta Burke. Shout out. Now I don't know if Dude, design you, you know you know bosom buddies. 
Yeah, dude, it's the greatest. I mean, in my they're, they're opinion, the only one who threw down the gauntlet. They, yeah. they just took a Billy Joel song. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, nothing will ever top the Bosom Buddies yeah. opening music. How did that show only last my man, two my years? My, my man just passed away, actually. God bless him. Who? God love him. Peter. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Sclaro? Yeah, he passed away this week. Wait, what? Yeah. No, he didn't. I think he did, but I hope I'm not making no. a mistake. I mean, I hope I am making a mistake. Oh, no, yeah. what did he die from? Yeah, this week. Uh, isn't Kalari. that terrible? Isn't that terrible? Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. I used to love that show when I was younger. Dude, they should reboot <laughs> Bosom Buddies now. But Me and you. it's like a trans show. Me and you. Oh, that's good. Right? Yeah. Or an odd couple trans. That'd be good. Yeah. I'd watch that. They should. I think that's a good idea. Well, what was I the, bet you they're going to reboot well, everything in a matter of time. What was the premise? I never seen. They that. moved into which one? Bosom Buddies Bosom was buddies. this. You could never d- do this now. Not meaning because it's offensive. Just meaning because it doesn't exist anymore. But there used to be hotel. Uh, there used to be apartment buildings that were all same sex. That was like a thing okay. in the early eight in the it, through the eighties. Okay. Actually, I they never saw out. or heard of that, but I just took it as law from the show. Okay. So okay. they moved. They they needed an apartment, and they moved into an all female building. So they have to pretend they're women. So they dress as women to live in the building, and only two women in the building: uh, Mary Jo Sperber, who's also passed, Wendy Jo Sperber, excuse me, who's also passed away, and Donna Dixon, who plays Tom Hanks's love interest. Dude, uh, know of their secrets. <laughs> we didn't we just go through this with Donna Dixon? Donna Dixon is someone famous's wife. Dude, someone very famous's wife. I will and tell we you like, this. What? I will tell you this. Circa eighty three. There was nobody hotter than Donna Dixon. Spouse, right there. Dan Aykroyd. Oh, wow. oh really? Yeah, yeah. Wait, she's in Twilight. Oh, that's right. She does. I just, me and Q Twilight were on Tell Him Steve Dave, like, like last month, on, and we, we were talking about Aykroyd, and we connected it to this, and we were like, holy shit. Oh, they're still married. Dude, she was, she was the hottest lady on television in 83. I mean, it was like you couldn't, you couldn't hold a candle to Donna Dixon. Uh, Suzanne Summers was pretty buxom. Suzanne Summers, but I'm talking. I'm Shout out Joyce DeWitt. Joyce DeWitt. Shout way, out Joyce DeWitt. She deserves way more credit. If I had to pick, I'm going DeWitt. Yeah, DeWitt in the in the in the series. Reese Comp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go DeWitt too. Yeah, you go uh, Ropers or you go Furley. I got to tell you, I love Furley. Oh, that could be a good battle, the Ropers versus Furley. Although we are eliminating people. I love. <laughs> <laughs> Books of buxom, yeah, plump, especially with large breasts. I would do. <laughs> I'm pimp, buxom. I'm buxom. Pimp, can you make? Can you make a note of Punky Brewster versus Blossom and Ropers versus Furley? But I'll tell you this: we might, we I'll might want to go. If we're gonna do sitcoms, I, I don't want to eliminate people from playing. All right, well, fair but, enough. But I, I love I'm just it. saying. I just want a note of it so we don't forget. But I'll tell you this. So a rapper just asked this. It might have been Grandmaster Kaz on okay. Twitter asked, "Who are you? Are you Godfrey. Roper or, Fur- or Furley?" Really? And uh, and I I responded to his tweet and I said, "As much as I love Furley's coked out yeah. swinger energy, yeah. he's always sniffling, which I'm convinced was, was, was for a real coke joke. Yeah. Uh, oh, a joke. I, I'm convinced it was a. You coke didn't think joke. Don Knotts was just on that? I don't think he was. I don't think Beverly he was. Hillbilly shit. No, I think it was like Don Knotts being like, "This is like a '70s guy right. rolling around, like yeah." You know. But anyway. I, I love I, I I love Roper, dude. Stan I mean, is Roper, his name Stan. He's such Stan? he's such you, you pimp bleep it. He's such a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> he's I mean, there's just been he's one of the great comedic sitcom bad guys. Yeah, like he's so he hates his wife. He hates I'll tell Tripper. You, Three's he, Company. The girl. Uh, he Three's hates Company. Everything. How many years was it on? Like seven seasons, something like that. Can you believe, and it's all on the heels of, of, of uh, John uh, Ritter, God, that he's another comedic genius. But I still can't believe John Ritter's gone. I know, right? He should still be alive today. It's so, it's like. What, what happened with him? What, what, why did he pass so early? It's like one of those, like, it was like one of those weird, like, Jim Henson things where it was like, he thought he had the flu. It turned out it was a rare lung infection that uh, killed him in two hours. Like, right. it was like one of those things. Remember when What's Her Face died? Seven years. Uh, uh, Natasha, uh, Liam Neeson's wife. Natasha, uh, oh, this, from skiing, remember? From skiing? Yeah. What do you mean from skiing? She skied and she hit like, like. Oh, she died from like skiing, she, like she Sonny like, and Cher? Natasha Richardson. 
she f- she like fell when she was skiing. I didn't know that at and, all. And like she thought she might have a concussion, but she fell fine. And then she went to like, and, and then she like just died because like her brain was bleeding oh and she didn't know. It was crazy. God. She thought that there wasn't anything wrong. So like she was like, she was thought she was fine. She had internal bleeding. I didn't even yeah. know this. Sonny Bono hit a tree, died on impact, I believe. That was a little different. What a way to go. I mean, right? I, I, have, I have hesitation skiing since that happened. I got to tell you, I skied as a kid. I've skied Not four, professionally. I've skied four times in my life, I think. I, yeah, I skied about six times when I was a kid. No good. NGIM. I was fine. Whatever. I was able to do it. The thought of doing that now is so insane to me. And so impossible. Oh. I can't even fathom how you could do it. I went to uh, to Vail with uh, Sean Patton, Steve Ranazisi, Ari, and uh, Steve Simone. And uh, I didn't ski, but I went for the weekend. We rented a condo, and I took lessons. And I and by the end of the day of lessons, I was really having a fun time with it. But I'm, you're always in fear, though. But then you didn't ski the rest of the time? I was there like two... Three nights, I skied one day on my own, I think, and then one day with lessons. Oh, oh! I thought you were saying you didn't ski the whole time you were there. You I said didn't. I didn't ski. I, I didn't. I have prior to that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I got it. Did those guys all ski? They all ski. They were doing like jumps. Not Steve. Steve Simone didn't ski once. He stayed in a condo. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Steve watched TV and just like hung out a lot. That's great. That's great. But um, I can for some reason I picture Patton. Patton's got a real Belushi vibe. Like, yeah. I picture him being very nimble on the skis and you know. Yeah, I don't really know because I didn't go with them because they were such higher levels than me. Yeah, Ari, I'm sure, has probably skied the actual Alps on one of his goofy excursions <laughs> out of town. Uh, but uh, you know. I have to tell you, my first ski trip, I vomited all of my friend Bays. No. I think I told it on a podcast. It was a class trip. I was a freshman, and it was freshmen and seniors from our school and a girl's school, and we met at the school at like 6 in the morning, and it went up to Bear Mountain or whatever the hell it was, and I didn't eat, and I used to get car sick as a kid, and me and my friend were sitting in a, in a, up in the front in the two chairs together. He was wearing an all-white sweatsuit, <laughs> wow. and he was sitting at the window. I was sitting at the aisle. And all the seniors and older kids were up, hanging out in the aisle, like talking. There's a bathroom in the back of the bus. And I started to get car sick. And then there was a point where I thought I was going to throw up. And I, it was, this was like the first month of school. This is my friend from the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So we just happened to go to school. We knew each other. So we said, let's do it. I said, I have to get up. I have to get, to get make my way to this bathroom. I'm going to throw up. I mean, I'm a freshman in school. All the girls are there, the seniors and everything. And I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. I'm trying to get through and everyone's talking so loud and they're in the aisles and they're not moving. And I made it about a third of the way, maybe half. And I said, dear God, I'm not going to make it to the bathroom time and I'm going to throw up. Really? I didn't know what to do. I about faced. I said, I'll just go throw up somewhere near my seat. And I went and I wasn't going to make it. I turned, I got all the way back to the front. I passed everybody. I got back to my seat. I turned. And he was sitting at the window, and I just went, and it shot out like the exorcist and just coated his entire body in his white sweatsuit. I feel so bad to this day. It was, what, 30 years ago? The face he made was a face I feel like you make like right before you die. He was he recoiled in absolute horror. Ugh. And then he smelled like vom for the rest of the trip up there. That's really this was gross. in the morning. That's then really he went gross. there went skiing. That's really gross. He was known as the kid that threw up on himself all day and I felt bad about that. That's really gross. Yeah. Anyhow. That's really, really gross. Skiing. I remember I dated a girl and the first time she ever <laughs> stayed at my place, I don't even think we had even made out yet. It was like right before we started dating. But she slept at my place, and we were kind of flirting. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway. Sounds like fun. She woke up in my bed, and she was in the middle of the night, and I looked over, and she was covering her mouth, oh, and she no. holding puke into her mouth, and she had to run into the bathroom. God bless her. She didn't, she didn't spill a drop. And wow. then she was really mortified, um, which, you know, it's disgusting. But, you know. You can't not be mortified. What, what you if it happens like, to you, it can't. Yeah, I was be. like, don't worry about it. You know, yeah. I didn't go near her for a couple of days. But. You ever you have a- <laughs> You ever have that thing where you're standing at a bar and you didn't get throw up, so you just put your head under the bar and just throw up right at the bar? Wow, Jesus Christ! That never happened to you in your life. What? It's happened to me once or twice. Always, I have like you do a shot and you're like, oh shit, oh shit. Place is packed. And you're like, ah, and you just duck under and throw up on the floor. Wow, I, I have don't always. That one. I don't remember. Yeah, that. that's yeah. really. I, I, you don't want to do it. You have no choice. I have always been able to get to the toilet in time. 
Yeah. I know when it's coming. I sense it. I mean, I'm talking about this has got to be, again, like 25 Well, years. yeah, yeah. But I'm saying even as a kid, I think as a kid once when I had a bad flu, I didn't make it to the bathroom. I just, I, I was running to the bathroom and I puked. But, like, even in my earliest days of drunks, like, I just, ne- I always knew enough to get to get to a bathroom, to get outside. I was always able to hold it long enough. What about vom in school? <laughs> Glad I didn't do it, but Disgusting. then they just—it just—it's so mortifying. That person gets shunned. They have a scarlet V. They got out of the room. Then, the, then a janitor comes forty minutes later and throws some wood chips on it. Uh, Dude, remember the stuff that smelled like cheese? They would cover it with <laughs> no. It was disgusting. They would put the stuff over vomit in my school, and it had like it—it it made it. It gave it a cheese smell. Like a cheese bait. Oh, 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 it was disgusting. It was it was disgusting. The uh, we got to get to the battle. I think. Yeah, right? Jesus, yeah. man, we really wasted a lot. Yeah, we're of time. at a half hour. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right. Sorry, guys. We're just you know we're talking here. Let's start. Let's start. I with love some some, some vomit talk. Why not? Yeah, let's. Yeah, start on a food to... mostly food podcast. Speaking <laughs> of <laughs> yeah. speaking of vom Taco Bell. No, I'm kidding. All right, Taste Buddies, let's talk about Lightstream, okay? The holidays are approaching. You may be thinking about how you're going to save some extra money. Well, we have got a solution that maybe you haven't thought of. Consolidate your high-interest credit card balances to a lower rate and save with Lightstream. Lightstream offers credit card consolidation loans with rates starting at just 4.98%. Uh, that's a pretty low APR. With auto pay and excellent credit, you can get that rate. Uh, that's much lower than the national average interest on credit cards, which is usually uh, you know 19%, right? That's higher, wild. Something like that. Plus, your rate is fixed, so rates continue to rise. You won't. Your rate, when it starts that low, whatever rate you get, it's not budging is the point, you know? So there are no fees. Uh, your rate never goes up. You can even get... Your money as soon as the the same day that you applied for this thing, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Lightstream believes that people with good credit deserve a better loan experience. and That's exactly what they deliver. So just for our listeners, the Taste Buddies, they apply now to get a special interest rate discount and save even more. The only way to get the discount, if you need to get some money, is to go to lightstream.com slash taste buds. You probably could have guessed that, but let's talk about it again. L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-A-M, lightstream.com slash taste buds. Subject to credit approval, rates range from 4.98% APR to 19.99% APR and include a 0.50% auto pay discount. Lowest rate requires excellent credit. That's no surprise. Terms and conditions apply and offers are subject to change without notice. Visit lightstream.com slash taste buds for more information. As the weather cools, wool, you know wool, one of your favorite materials, returns to the foreground as our hero material, offering comfort, coziness, and the weightlessness to keep you going on your feet all day long. All right? You hear what I'm saying? Well, let's tell them what we're talking about. Well, we're talking about the benefits of all birds' wool runners uh these are shoes okay all birds encouraging listeners like you to go and check out their original style check out what these guys are doing we are settling into the fall season life is picking up again we know what's coming for us these days staying comfortable it's at the top of your list okay you want to be warm but you want to be comfortable you're going to lace up this pair of all birds wool runners and you're going to see that all birds has redefined what it means to be comfortable all day long made from soft sustainable merino wool the wool runners don't just feel good they look good too i have a three pair three yeah i have uh, a pair that i had before they were ever a sponsor and i bought my dad a pair and now since they became a sponsor i ordered another pair yeah they're they're made uh really uh also i think it's this should touch on this but they are made sustainably which they, we yeah. will touch on which i thought was really cool then i threw them on and dude they are like one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes I own. I love it. They're made um, with soft, itch-free uh, materials, and they're naturally durable. Uh, they're ZQ certified merino wool. Uh, they're the most sustainable wool that you can get. Uh, with that, that that ZQ cert. I don't. I knew very little about ZQ merino wool until Allbirds came. Oh, forward, I love it. And I'm learning that <laughs> this is the most sustainable of all wools. They are uh, simple too. I like that. They go with anything. They're simple, stylish. You can get like one full color. Uh, proving the comfort design and sustainability don't have to be mutually exclu- exclusive. You can machine wash them. Easy to wear, easy to clean. And they're a great shoe to wear with almost any outfit. They look classic, you know. This and is, especially with a pant like this, a jogger pant. Yeah, like I th- like this is what wear. I was getting at actually before. Allbirds is a carbon neutral company. Thanks to sustain- sustainable practices, like using natural materials and purchasing carbon offsets, uh, 
Yeah, they know we can create a more sustainable future together, but only if we hold ourselves accountable to tread lighter on the planet. So start off the season right with a pair of wool runners from Allbirds. Find your own pair of wool runners at allbirds.com allbirds.com today okay so it's a-l-l-b-i-r-d-s.com check them out so it's kfc taco bell today i'm taking kfc i'm taking taco bell now i'm gonna say this right out of the gate kfc is my most frequented fast food place i love kfc i've made it very clear on this show how much i love kfc and fried chicken i did not take fried chicken in the fried chicken battle why because i also love barbecued spare ribs and i thought i could defend them i lost I am taking Taco Bell in this battle. Why? Because I also love Taf- Taco Bell, and I feel that I can defend it. So I'm just saying this out loud for anybody going, let me get the run of the night. To our to our hearing impaired audience. Love KFC. <laughs> no, no, that's don't make that joke. <laughs> that you sound like you were hearing a pet. Don't make that joke. Hey, make that I'm joke. Not. They can't hear you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm t- I'm telling you that that's what you sounded like. I could have went somewhere else with that, but I didn't. No, one of the just fans, sounded like it I just sounded like you know what you worked in. You worked with explosives your whole life, and now you're an older man. I realize and that's how you talk at home to your grandkids. It sounds like I could have been insulting what groups of people, types of group, different groups. Of I know what you meant. You meant, but I was well, no to Rosa. Yeah, I was but doing, you started I was going. Doing the anno- baby, you went wrong. Yeah, I was doing yeah. the annoying guy. Yeah, I was doing the one fan did write. How long till DeRosa calls Taco Bell Mexican McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. My, that's beautiful. My uh, my my girl always does that when she's talking to me and when she's. She does a version of me. She's like, well, you, t- you told me yourself. You were like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what is, what is this voice? I don't do this voice. That's not my voice. Why are you parroting back to me a person I never met before? It's what, she's, what she hears, I think. Right. I think she thinks I'm just some just terrible big oaf. It's what you sound like to me. To no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. She's like, you told me. And I'm like, well, who is that? <laughs> I, I don't do it to her. I would love to witness that. I'm not that. like, you said you were going to do that. I don't do that. I would, oh lo- I would love to witness that. I would <laughs> love to witness that. So KFC, I, I, I will tell Taco you. Taco Bell. I, I have, I have uh, let up on Taco Bell. I've took, taken oh, my wait, foot off the gas. And don't go easy on me because I'm in a bad way today. I wouldn't <laughs> insult you like that. All right, thank you. No matter, no matter what, what happens, happens, I love you. you. No, no matter, matter what happens, happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. All right. Ready? Yes. B-A-T-T-L-E, butts. <laughs> okay. KFC. I've let off the gas with Taco Bell. I, I, t- I frequented Taco B uh, in college as a younger j- uh, chap. Now it's like, for me, it's like uh, emergency food. Or one time on tour in, in the UK, the last time I had it was on tour in the UK three years ago, and we were drunk and nothing was open, and we all did a pilgrimage to Taco Bell, and I ate it, and it's 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 decent going in, but it's not good after that. Everyone knows that they have a stigma with them. It's for a reason. What's the stigma? There's a there, like a bowel movement stigma. Yeah, that you I've run. Never heard, you I honestly, I swear to God, I run never, for the border. Oh, uh, I you never. Know, that was one Bell. of the first stand-up jokes run I ever for, wrote. What? Taco Bell make a run for the shitter. Well, so you you told me you didn't know that. I thought I made that up, though. <laughs> no. I thought, like, it was my own idea. I guess it's not. <laughs> oh, I guess it's not. <laughs> so, um, and then I also think I recently read an article that ranked fast food spots and the quality of their ingredients, particularly their proteins, and I think Taco Bell was low on that list. I don't want to disparage Taco Bell. Right. Because I, 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 I love their cinnamon crisps. I love that seven-layer burrito. I mean, I, I, I'll tell you this God, about Taco God Bell. God bless them, but, you know. Taco Bell is so delicious that Mexican I, pizza. I, you, I have my dairy issues. You know, there are dairy things. like Certain dairy products I can't have, certain cheeses, uh, certain milks, whatever. One of the things that does get me a little upset, to less of a degree than, say, mozzarella cheese, is sour cream. I will muscle through it. I love sour cream. I will muscle through it for Taco Bell because that's get how that good hot it sauce is. packets. Oh god, dude! The, the, so I will actually make my mouth and inner ear itch, yeah. so I can eat a Taco Bell but Supreme. Has taco. there ever been someone who has gone to Taco Bell? What percentage of people you think that have gone to Taco Bell and had a healthy serving did not have a bowel movement that was very left of center hours later? <laughs> Well, I mean, 
mean, you're talking as if you're 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 skipping through the daisies after KFC. I mean, no, on. but it's not as it's not as uh, the sodium, combustible. I I would say that you you would you would potentially battle a different animal on the toilet after KFC. I would say that the constipation can come into full effect. Really? Why so? Uh, because of the amount of weird fake dairy product you're ingesting in their mashed potatoes. I gotta be honest. Whatever those mashed potatoes well, are made out of. I'm glad you brought I the mash. I also think the sodium has an effect. The sodium Sodium's puts me in a... Sodium. You don't think in that taco meat there's a bunch of sods? It's nothing. It Listen, KFC is delicious for a reason. That is as high in sodium as you are ever going to get in I, food. I'll tell you right now. I, there's, there's a rumor about KFC. Remember the rumor that they couldn't call it... Because it used to be called Kentucky yeah, yeah. Fried Chicken for all you youngins. It is again now. They changed it back. The Kentucky Fried Chicken? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they said that they couldn't call it it because the USDA or something like that said that it didn't constitute real chicken or something like that. I think that was a big uh, fa- uh, wives' tale. Yeah, that was that was never true. That was you know like, it, but <coughs> I got the Colonel. Here's okay, the I got the Colonel secret recipe. That's how good KFC is. There's a recipe that is on the lock and key from the dawn of KFC that they will not give out. That proprietary information is golden. I got the colonel backing me up, just a southern gent. On your end, you got a chihuahua, walks around in a party hat, might have died died two decades ago. The colonel, I got news for you, the colonel's dead. He's got, look at this, for a chihuahua. You know he's dead, right? No, he lives on in all of us. (laughs) The chihuahua looks like, for a chihuahua, he looks like he has gigantism in that head, though. (laughs) He's a cute kid. He looks like he has a large brain. No, he's a cute kid. But I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something. My two favorite foods on planet Earth, we've discussed before, are fried chicken and homemade taco kit. Yeah. KFC, I mean, Taco Bell is the only place you are getting homemade taco kit style tacos. Anytime I go to a restaurant, I order the hard shells. It's a disappointment. Anytime I go to an authentic taqueria and I order the hard shells, I like them, but it is nothing like that home kit. You go to Taco Taco Bell has its own kit. You can go get a Taco Bell kit in the store and make your own Taco Bell at home. How do you uh, how do you find the consistency across the platforms? Do you uh, feel like the Taco Bell at home is is hitting the same delish, hitting the same nail that on the head that the uh, that the brick and mortar Taco Bell? Honestly, is? I love it, but no, and here's why: there is, and we've we've argued this before. I appreciate a certain quality drop in my fast food. When I make it at home, it tastes too quality. It, there's something about their whatever that paste <laughs> is that they call meat. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> That is delicious, and it makes it what it is. It just makes it what it is. You know what I mean? They, I'm not sitting there. Do you think I'm dicing those tomatoes the way they dice them? No. Do you think I'm shredding lettuce? What are you, nuts? No. You, know? you, you so, should, though. You could just hit it up real quick with the knife. It's not the same, though. It's not it's the same. I understand that. Same, but Taco dude. Bell, like, I, not even just they, a, you get the Dorito it's not even a bathroom. At home now. It's not even a bathroom. I just get sh- sharp pains, I think. I don't, it, I don't. It's always delicious, but it's, I mean, it's right away that it's not good after you finish. Look, KFC's not a little bit this is fast food okay we're talking fast food fast food is what it is it's fast food so it's not like it's going to be some michelin shit but let's right. just let's just run through the menu of kfc well All right. let, let's see yeah no this is for you <laughs> this is, Pimp's a, been this pull, is pulling up a lot of me. good facts so i want to go back to even the, the way they were founded what year they came out with oh, that stuff yeah. too but uh will taco bell upset my stomach uh how common is food poisoning from taco bell it is believed that at least 150 people in 21 states have suffered salmonella poisoning after eating at taco bell restaurants and at least one food poisoning lawsuit has already been filed against the mexican fast food chain that all was right. in 2010 i'm, I'm sure but, you, i'm sure now, you i'm now, sure that's across all fast food though i don't want to yeah now google yeah kfc uh uh, food poisoning. Did you put, is Taco Bell diarrhea real? Is that what that just said? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Right. <laughs> is it real? Oh, family, ABC <laughs> News, the Sydney family has won a case against fast food giant KFC after, same thing, salmonella. Most commonly reported symptoms from KFC is poisoning and diarrhea. We're not here. This is not a hit piece. No. Uh, we want to make this clear. I, uh, this, is this isn't a hit piss. Uh, a hit piss? A hit? <laughs> this isn't a hit piss or a hit piece on Taco Bell or KFC. I'm we're just this. running the gamut from, from praise to, to, to what we hear negative. We're doing this because we... We actually like these products. How am I not getting Taco Bell tonight after looking at these pictures? Uh, Look, I at got. You know how a lot of times you guys, uh, buddies, the taste buddies, the listeners, they always say like 
after listening, they had to go get it. This is going to be one of those episodes. Yeah. It's going to be a KFC Taco Bell night tonight. Look at I these. bet you, hey, corporate at KFC and Taco Bell, uh, November 22nd, check your files and see if you got a spike tonight <laughs> in sales. Right, yeah, maybe they start trending online too. By the way, same owners. Pepsi owns both. No shit. Yeah, that's what you've never seen a Taco Bell and KFC under the same roof. Yep. No, I thought that was uh, uh, Pizza Hut. Pete, they own Pizza Hut too, babe. Wait, what's that song? You know that song. I'm at the Pizza Hut. I'm at the Taco Bell. Yeah. I'm at the combination Pizza never Hut and it. Taco Bell. Never heard it. Never heard it. It was a hit for a minute. Never heard it. Pimp, I'm at the Pizza Hut Taco Bell. We'll definitely get ripped. No, I don't like this. I like the other one. I'm at the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. I like the other one better. This is, this I mean, great. this is cool. This is but... a pimp's alley, I feel like. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was like a song that wasn't, like, people took it seriously. Like, it was on the radio. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm saying, all right, listen, under the same roof, all right, owned by the same company, Pepsi, who also owns Pizza Hut. There is nothing better, and I'm going to say I'm going to sing praises to both sides of this. I, my buddy Jim, lives in Atlanta. When I get off the plane, every time first stop for us is the combination Pizza Hut Taco Bell in his neighborhood. We get a little of both, and we go to town, dude. You got to go on two lines for that. No, it's one line. All one reg. Wow. One reg. One person giving it to you. One oh. reg under God. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, but I will say this. Look, I love. Again, we're not here to disparage. Can, can I? Can I? Can't I argue, yeah. Can I take you on a little like tour of the Taco Bell menu? I mean, the KFC menu. Yeah. You're telling me what are you putting? What are you pulling from Taco Bell's menu that's going to go up against an original three piece <laughs> with a mash and grave and a Biscuit. Never even the mind. Biscuit can take a walk. No. Never even mind. I not, tell them, I'm don't give gonna, me the I'm biscuits. I'm not even going to get into the coleslaw and the mac and cheese. I'm not even going to get into it. I tell them, don't give me the biscuits, first of all. You're, you're a lunatic. Your biscuits are like... Lunacy. Uh, it's the one thing I hate at KFC because I think they're like hockey pucks. Okay? Mm. Popeyes, now we're talking biscuits, but we're not here to discuss Popeyes. Love that chicken okay? Popeyes. Coleslaw, banger. KFC, a uh, gravy with mashed potato, banger. You, I, I thought you were going to say that it was no good. No, bangers. Do you know that? Do you know that? Those are the bangers. This is the true thing in my that's life. The, that's the sunny and share of the sides at, you want, at KFC. True thing in my life. This is God's honest. God's honest. Whether I believe in God is a different story. I'm listening. I, I, it's a right. lot to, it's yeah, a, yeah. That's a lot to unpack. Yeah. KFC's mashed potatoes are my favorite mashed potatoes I've ever had in my entire life. That's an insane statement to me. I like them. They might even be instant. I if like you, instant potatoes. Listen, I don't mind instant potatoes. You eat those things without the gravy, it's a it's a nightmare. No, they, have a, they have a flavor that nobody else can achieve. The it is so goddamn good. I dump that gravy out, in there. And but you're, 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 I thought I'm you were telling me a pound. something. No, <laughs> you take the gravy out of the equation, those potatoes are a nightmare, and they serve them with the option of no gravy, which means some people like them on their own. The gravy, I'll give it to you, but you, you, if you got home and you didn't have that gravy, you would hate every bite of those things, and you know. No, I'm telling you, I love it to pieces. It's my favorite. But you said you dumped that gravy in there. No, but I use the gravy. But I, if I don't have gravy, I still love it. I, I eat it with oh, gravy though. That's I. I love you it, buddy. I, well, the, well, guess what? It's a good thing because the gravy's on the menu and it comes with it, so I don't have to worry about eating it dry. Right. Right. And the original rest. Let's talk about <laughs> it. Let's talk about the original rest. I love okay, because I believe it's the same thing with like Coca Cola. The, these these companies that where they like the like the, the, the like the CEO and the founder have they're the only two that know it, and it's like in a safe somewhere, and it's under lock and key. That's tr real shit. <coughs> so I'm telling you, that original rest. Babe, I got it in a in a recipe book at home. Binging with Babish has done it. He did it. He's got a YouTube video. Yeah, where I know he shows him. you how to do it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm guaranteeing you it's not coming out the same. No, as he told he, he he told me. He says on the video with the secret. <laughs> he, he says listen, on this the is video how lonely DeRosa is. He thinks the guys on the TV are talking to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> By the way, that, that Bob Saget party, he just watched a, a yeah, doc. Yeah. No, I'm like I'm like the cable guy. No, he, he saw Norman yeah. Lear talking to camera and he was like, My friend Norman Lear told me. Yeah. No, no, no. He says in the video what the secret ingredient is because I've I've got a recipe book where I've tried to put together the combo. And it's there's something missing every time. 
Babish. The chicken skin. Well, babish. At, wait, hold on, let me babish, tell you. Babish. MSG. He's like, that's the thing that's in there that's making it, like, really special. Madison Square Garden. Yeah. <laughs> the greatest yeah. venue in all the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in KFC. Oh, God. They're doing big things. Speaking of which, did you ever go to the KFC in the basement of Madison? The one with... The Penn? Yeah. 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 Woo! No, those I, are some, I passed it. Those I, are some... Do- I've, I've gone I'm, there and I'm hands off. there on purpose. I'm hands off at underground food establishments. They're hands off. It's some dark days down there. Yeah. It's some dark days yeah. down there. But listen, go ahead. Original Down there rest. feels weird to me, especially when you go like down a down a hallway that not a lot of people are. It feels like human rats it feels scurrying like Blade around. Blade Runner down there to me. Yeah. Right. Sal, let me talk to you, buddy, about Canva Pro. All right. I know Canva Pro. Canva Pro, the design platform that empowers you to create and share stunning content in just a few clicks. I've designed things in the past. I've had to hire people to design things in the past. I am not a designer. I have friends that are designers. But what I'm trying to get at is Canva Pro is making design amazingly fast and fun. And I think it la- allows people who aren't schooled in the field to also to be able to do this for themselves. I, I started uh, using it because I like to make the content and promos. So you can use it for the website, socials, right. anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And then it's also a great tool for actual designers too. Uh, thousands of templates are available. Endless premium fonts. There's photos. There's videos that you're allowed to use because they're licensed. Uh, and, and you can add all kinds of personality. To that, that's a big deal, though, that, they're, that the, the images are licensed too. Yeah. So you don't have to go and buy that's what I'm saying. images. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I actually use it to edit no, no press shows. Yeah. yeah. There so you there go. you go. We edit our go. stuff with it. Uh, there you go. That's putting your money where your mouth is, right? And you could do it together. Uh, they let you share, edit, and comment in real time. So you can work with someone and not even be in the same room with them. Canvas Pro helps you stay organized on the same page and on top of team projects. Uh, yeah, you, you can work uh, with four teammates if you want, or up to four, I guess. Uh, and you can unlock everything Canva Pro has to offer for just twelve ninety nine. dollars a month with Canva Pro's content planner, you'll see that you'll, you'll you're going to save time planning and creating and posting social media content, all the stuff we just said. It's true, and we got a guy here that actually uses it. Yeah, and my, my fave stuff is the uh, the royalty free options, the endless options they have I, for photos. Because even agree. for the show when we do Impractical Jokers, we have to purchase anything that we put on there, and it's always like a hassle. I agree. You have to like it's just it's just annoying. It's an extra step. I mean, dude, we're we're designing stuff for the bar, and it's like you know you you want to pull pictures and you want to have you know colorful things. Yeah, and you know and references and whatever. Canva Pro makes that stuff a lot easier and a lot more possible. Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when That's you amazing. use our promo code. Just go to canva.me slash taste buds to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash taste buds. Canva dot me slash taste buds. Baby babies, let's talk Amazon Musies. Buddy buddies. Just because that's this show, not the other show that you're on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's in my vernacular. I know. I'm kidding. I know. I say, babe. I, I, I say it all. I, I can't stop saying it. I know. It. Anyway, Amazon Music. Let's talk about it. More than 10 million free podcast episodes, including Hey Babe and Taste Buds. Yeah. Whoop, that you whoop. can listen to. Uh, you can listen to our hilarious podcast, uh, amongst many others. Yeah, Smartless is on there. Uh what else is on there? Dr. Death is on. That's not a hilarious one. Dr. Death Miracle Man is a true crime one. Yeah. But the point is, is there's all kinds of podcasts and you can listen to them. But it's not just for podcasts listening. Yeah. They have thousands of music stations, playlists that you can stream for free. And no matter what you're listening to, you can go hands free with Alexa. Oh, I hope she didn't hear me. Is she going to be? That was one time, remember, we were doing this and she heard you. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Alexa just chime in, yeah, God, yeah. God love her. If you're like me and you want your music on demand and ad-free, you have to try Amazon Music Unlimited, which gives you access to over 75 million songs, which I don't think you could get through this week. Yeah. Uh, I like that they have levels of this that you can do. I think that's really cool. Some music services, it's like, it's this or nothing. You know? Yeah. I like that they have levels of this where they're like, maybe you don't want to spend money. Maybe you don't want to spend a lot of money. Maybe you do, and, or you want to spend a little extra to get the full. I, I think that's I think that's cool when a streaming service of any kind allows you to do that. I so, like using it, like when I'm going to like uh, take a shower and do some self-care, where I know I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put on a toner, 
I'm going to put on some maybe some moisturizer, maybe clip on my nails that day. I might be like trimming the beard. Sure. I throw on a station I like on Amazon Music and I let that baby roll. Amazon Music Unlimited because it's different because some other stations you don't have skips. Like you can skip, but then you have to listen to some of them. Sure. This is unlimited skips. So I do it when I know I'm going to have a real humdinger in the bathroom. Okay. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Look, if you've never tried Amazon Music Unlimited, now's the time. For a limited time, new customers can try Amazon Music Unlimited free. For three months. You can't beat that. There's no credit card required. Just go to Amazon.com slash taste buds. Amazon.com slash taste buds. You're going to get Amazon Music Unlimited <laughs> free for three months. Amazon.com slash taste buds. Renews automatically. Cancel anytime. Terms apply. All right, fed. But finish finish with the positive of America. KFC was founded by Colonel Wait. Harlan Sanders. Sal, focus. Finished with the original <laughs> recipe thing you were going to say. You, you literally in the last three minutes have said skin recipe. Uh, I, don't just, finish your thoughts. I, I want to hear it. I think that the, the fine. You want to discount biscuits? The, 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 their two staples are bangers: the chicken, the fried chicken, and the mashed potatoes. The fried chicken is on another level. I mean, I, talk to me about. Well, I want you. I want you to take a, an item off the Taco Bell menu to put up against the KFC original recipe chicken listen you make a great point as i said i, I haven't even my gotten favorite i haven't even gotten i haven't even, i haven't even broached extra crispy all right oh i haven't even broached you haven't and don't bother broaching it it's a waste of my time it's flavorless oh extra crispy is well, flavorless keep, keep getting it keep getting in the sub basement at penn station i, <laughs> I am telling you something i have had times in my life where i've eaten kfc on a weekly basis i'm not exaggerating you ever have a bowl? I, KFC bowl? I wouldn't waste my time. Uh, but I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something. I never get original recipe. Once a year, I'll go. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I never get extra crispy. No, I go rich. I go rich. Because the rich is crispy Once enough. Once a year, I'll go, you know what? Let me get extra crispy again. I, I'm I'm in the mood, and I get it, and I go, this sucks. It's just not as good Popeye's. Well, no, are you sure you're not getting the tenders? Yeah. Because sometimes yeah. people go in there, and they try to get the tenders. I actually like I'm the talking tenders. about the actual fried I think the chicken. the tenders actually have good flavor. No, the tenders are way more like original rest. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, also, you know how you said one no, time that... No, but extra crispy is weak. Their mac and cheese sucks. Their it's mac and cheese. Their mac and cheese needs a refresh. The green beans... Whatever. What are we talking Didn't about? Didn't know here? they sold them. All right. The corn is surprisingly quality it's fine. for fast food yeah. corn. Snap. There's a snap. But to when it. you go to KFC, <laughs> what you're really dealing with is original recipe. Let's talk about their fries that they were they were the, the great, flour on them, they, nice seasoned. They, they taste See, like original recipe. Those, they, those are underrated fries in the fast but, food game. Nobody brings up KFC's fries listen, and they deserve it. What about their the wedges? The potato wedges. They were good too. Dope. But I will tell you this. This is the point I'm driving at. KFC's got one trick and one trick only. What's that? Original recipe. Because the seasoning on the fries is original recipe seasoning. The gravy that the mashed potatoes desperately needs tastes alive, kind of like original recipe. And then you got coleslaw. All right? That's what you're dealing with. You, you, you you're, taking a menu, you're, just, items? you're taking a menu of items and calling it a one-trick pony. You're saying it's one tr one trick. They got one trick. Yeah, they do. They got okay. one trick. Well, if that's their one trick... They're Call him David Copperfield because which, they're amazing which at it. Babish told me was MSG. All right, <laughs> you want to talk a banger? They got Popeyes. You want to talk a banger? You want to talk a banger? Yeah. What? What do you got? What is effing? What is effing with the Doritos Loco Taco? Have you ever had that thing? It's insane. I haven't. I haven't. It's insane. I haven't. But I don't know if I like allowing Doritos into this argument. Bro. The Doritos Loco Taco is a menu item. That thing is insane. Taco Bell has a steak and potato taco that will knock you sideways, all right, with a cheese sauce on it. Do you ever have a chicken uh, chicken roller from Taco Bell? Never heard of it. Melted cheese, chicken, and chipotle sauce. It'll change your life, dude. I used to get a seven-layer burrito when I was in college, when I was delivering pizza. I would go through the drive through. The seven layer burrito weighed about a pound and a half, a dollar nineteen. Yeah, I know it's good value, but I will tell you the staple food from a Taco Bell, if you had to choose one, is an original classic taco. And by the way, let's take that. Let's take that. All right. Let me take one piece, drumstick, breast, whatever you want to do, of original recipe chicken. Put that f piece of original recipe fried chicken up against that original beef taco from Taco Bell. Who comes out on top? 
I think a supreme taco from Taco Bell comes out on top. Can, I'm, I think it can absolutely contend. But as I said, I'm at a disadvantage here. KFC is my most frequented fast food. I cannot, in good conscience, knock the beauty of original recipe. But what I can do is argue that Taco Bell is a better spot because there is a much more versatile menu. A much they're, babe, no, they're no, putting no, no, no. hard shells by nature of it, soft shells. It's like a laboratory babe. for Mexican food over there. <laughs> they're doing crazy <laughs> shit. At Taco Bell. By nature of it being Mexicano food, by the way, there's fucking four ingredients. They jumble it together. They call it a different thing every time. Yeah, they're unless not, you go to Taco they're, Bell, they're where they introduce bring, something called. Doritos fries, where they had a Doritos <laughs> cheese sauce you can dip your fries in. I, I'm, gl- I, I'm glad. I'm glad that Doritos is putting Taco Bell on its shoulders for you. But <laughs> there's that famous gaffing bit, and it's true. It's like ta- the Mexican food is five things, and they just I'm gonna hit prepare you with, it differently and call it I'm gonna something hit else. You with, I'm going to hit you with something that KFC does not have and that nobody's ever said about KFC. Okay. And that it has only been said about Taco Bell. Okay. Fourth meal. <laughs> they, they marketed this to Americans. They marketed fourth meal as if you shouldn't be ashamed that you're adding what, a meal what do to they your call, day. What do they call it? Taco Bell. No, what do they call the meal? It's breakfast, lunch, dinner. D- Taco Bell, they're saying, is fourth meal because so many people have to get it late night. And people proudly still still went and did it. That's saying something about the food. They're basically saying, "Hey, slobs, come, come get an extra dinner." Well, look at the KFC. Oh I mean, the KFC bowl and is the whole menu. Were like, great, that's their the KFC campaign. bowl is the whole menu. Throw, throw in a bowl. Uh, I mean, one of the great stand-up well, bits of all time is the Patton Oswalt. Oswalt, right? Yeah. Uh, Oswalt. Patton Oswalt. Good, good bit with that. The KFC bowl. Um, remember the other day, uh, a couple uh, battles ago, you were like. It's so great because peanut and M's come in a bag. Yeah. And there's something about getting a bag or something you said. Yes. Well, let me take that lodge and apply it to a bucket because there's not many times where you can order food in a bucket. A Listen, bucket full of food. I see. And I, KSC sir. is the king, is the granddaddy king of food and buckets. I you come see home with a bucket. family, a family bucket. You're providing for your whole family. Yeah. I see your bucket. Yeah. I see your bucket, I see it. and I raise you the taco box. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yes, they got a tin taco box, and it's <laughs> no. up inside of a it's box. It's called a taco box. I ate an entire one in my car Woo-hoo! when I was eighteen years old once, <laughs> while wow. I was driving. I ate ten tacos out of a taco. Pimpy, pull up the taco box for me. You're still working some of that off. Yeah, exactly. Look at this, dude. They got a burrito with it. They put a hash brown in, for Christ's sakes. They're flailing, though. That's why. I'm not flailing. I don't think that's, I don't think that's inventive. I think they're like, we got to do something. We got to do something to shake this up. The dog died, and we need something. Throw a potato in there. That's what I think they're no, doing. No, no. I think they're it's like... It's genius. Have you ever had a hash brown with taco? It's one of the most delicious things you're ever going to eat in your life. Mm. Look at that thing, dude. A taco and burrito cravings pack. A pack, dude. Eh, you get a, you get a, eh, that's a that's that's a pack. It's it's only three three eh, a bucket. No, bag. you can get ten taco boxes. It's still on their their, their uh, Grubhub menu. Look at that! Look at that fried chicken sandwich on the top right from KFC. I didn't even delve into their sandwiches. I didn't delve into the pot pies. Well, but which again, they have again, they have desserts. Look at the chocolate chip cookie. I'm gonna hit you with. Dude, you're not effing with you're not effing the with the chocolate chip bun cake, with, baby. You're gonna put a KFC chocolate bun cake against the chorizo? Are you nuts? Or not the chorizo, the chalupa? What's the no, thing called? No, no, well, you, you cinnamon sticks, bro. That's What's what you the got. Cinnamon thing? They're okay. No cinnamon sticks. Look at these cinnamon delights. They got little mini cinnamon Is that new? delights. Is that new? It's been three years. It's not that new. <laughs> no, what is that? What's that twisty? Oh, that's got to that's got to be great. The guacamole at, at, at Taco Bell. Well, what's that called though? It's not cinnamon called twists. A, no, on their menu, it's called cinnamon twists. In real life, isn't it called a Cholula? Churro. Churro. That's right. Yeah, but that no, but that's not what that is because that's not baked dough. Dude, did you ever have this thing? Did you ever have the the? Did you ever have the uh, Cholula? What was it called? The 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 Chalupa. That's another thing. You guys are just making up names at this point. It's like a, a gabagipa. It's amazing. A, but did you ever have the Chalupa? The bread on that thing tastes like it tastes like they put it tastes like they wrapped funnel cake you know around what? a taco. It's amazing. I'll just do, I'll just go back to it again because it, it's worth it. It has merit. I'm just saying their website has sodium warnings. Oh my god! <laughs> I've never seen the, that. the deluxe cravings box and the my cravings box has a literal triangle warning <laughs> on it that says, "Look out! 
this is too much sodium. And that, that, they, they didn't choose to do that. That came down from an authoritative branch. And, and babe, people are still going in droves. <laughs> I that's understand. My point, dude. But that's wild that's the that they have to be like, yo, you're dealing with this here. is enough sodium for a week. That's the thing you're dealing with here. But they, well, let me just say, a gordita, a chalupa, a taco, a burrito, a fajita, a Mexican pizza, every single one is lettuce, tomato, cheese, sour cream, a well, couple true. beans. Chips. That's not true at all. It's the same shit. That's not true. But if you want to get into same shit, different different day. Uh, somebody uh, somebody named Abysmal said Taco Bell equals Hiroshima shits. Oh my god! So I'm all set on that. Yeah, don't if you, you love? Talk, don't you love a cur- wait the a colonel second. steering the ship? He's got a, a southern drawl. If you want to, he talk, walks with a cane. Hold on a second. He's got a handlebar mustache. You, I'm gonna I'll, say, I'll say. I'll say. I'll no, say. Yeah. No. Yeah, he's probably a filthy racist, let's be honest. No. You know what I mean? I don't the guy's wanna, probably got problems. Don't, don't project. He's probably don't bang. <laughs> uh, here's what I'm saying. You want to talk same sh- same dog, different fur, okay, like you are about KFC, talk, or, or about ta- Taco Bell. KFC is doing the same thing. They're taking their one kind of chicken, Fair. and they shove it into a bun, or they put it in a box, or they throw it into a bowl. It's the same. It's Fair. The, you know, come on. Fair. Fair. Thank you very much. Baja Blast exists so... Th- th- oh, God. No, are you nuts? By, by the way, Baja is not a thing. Baja. No, no. She's she's not talking about Baja Fresh. I think she's saying there's a menu item on Here's Taco a- Bell called the Baja oh, oh, Blast. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Let's go to the phones. Well, where are we at, Pimpy? We got to... We're we gotta, in an hour. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the phones. You- All right. Dusty Williams says, the only reason I would go to KFC is to shit in a bucket after I have time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is a fu- that is a wait. Grand that, that's slammer. actually a slight on both. I know, but it's that's just, genius, it's, Dusty. It's, yeah, that's that. The that's, only reason I would go to KFC is to shit in a bucket after I have Taco Bell. <laughs> might, I mean, that might be the winner right out. Wow, of Wow, that's gate. like that's a that's just, he should be a, he or she should be a politician. Uh, what else we got here? Taco Bell has so many options. KFC is just chicken. I'd rather do Popeyes for chicken. Fair point. Uh, a hard. Shell t- taco from Taco Bell is just wet dog food, a handful of chopped lettuce, three pieces of chopped tomato, and an overwhelming amount of sour cream. I don't agree with that, but that's fair. Uh, both very good, but I feel Taco Bell has better variety. Aha! KFC is a special occasions. That means they put it on a pedestal. Taco Bell is when it's 3 a.m. and I desperately need eight different combinations of the same five ingredients. All right, but, but, but many other people have said Taco Bell... It is beating KFC in the in the versatility game. Oh yeah, what am I saying, bro? Uh, I, yours yours is ta- Taco Bell as your order make a run for the border or Yokieto Taco Bell. I got I what I got finger licking good. It's finger licking. I can't believe good. you didn't bring that up till now. I, know. I certainly wasn't going to mention. I it. blanked. Oh, you really see? KFC is the first post divorce meal you eat on the floor of your new <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell is not. No, that's so true. That's every, every, look, uh, what am I dude, thinking that dude, I didn't bring this dude. up? Every movie or TV show where they're depicting a man that's out on his ass and that is like, is sitting there with a bucket of chicken <laughs> every time. Well, Taco every time. Bell is the food of the drunks, right? I mean, look, how good is the food have to be where you're licking your flesh after you eat it to get remnants of that delicious? I gotta tell you this, that's been their slogan since I, since before I was born. And I've loved KFC for my whole life. I've never once licked my fingers. That's disgusting. Oh, f- Nobody you, does it. You it do just too. sounds good. You eat it and you go like that. No, I don't do that. I mean, my hands are washed. I don't do that. What am I, garbage? I don't do that. <laughs> Who licks their fingers while they eat? That's gross. What are you, garbage? You, you, you're funny. You, 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 you bite a combo, but you throw the whole Reese's in your mouth, and I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Taco, Taco Bell all day, every day. You can get chicken anywhere. What? But, but a Doritos, Doritos Locos, Locos Taco. Taco. Thank you. That's what mm. I said. Depending on my mood, I usually choose the cat food they consider right. beef at Taco Bell Let's... over the bootleg Thanksgiving meals KFC <laughs> office. I want to give the win to the divorced lady. Give me a famous bowl and a chicken little and keep it moving. I'm with you. All right. The divorced lady. All right. The the divorced on the apartment floor <laughs> meal. I think that's the funniest. Right, yeah, just passed Okay. Steph Knoll. The guy that shit in the bucket almost had it. Do we? Let's give two. Oh, today. that's good too. Let's yeah. give yeah, at Steph Knoll. You can follow her at S T E F. I'm sorry, S T E P H K N O L L. And then also we have a tie today. It might also be Step Knoll. <laughs> the uh, also follow Dusty Williams. The only reason I go to KFC is to shit in a bucket after I have Taco Bell at Dusty. Sorry. At there you go. 
uh, at Dusty W I two zero four five five nine five four. Dusty, you could have done better with that one, yeah. buddy. All right, let's see who won. And wrap this drum baby roll. Up. It's humble pie time. Pimp, throw up the throw up the percentages. We got eleven thousand votes. votes. Not too bad. Pimp's choosing talk. Oh, wow. wow, wow! Finally, God, I've been getting the crap kicked out. Redempt, of redempt. 58.3% goes to Taco Bell for the win. I had a feeling Taco Bell was going to take it because I feel like it's more of a lifestyle choice for people. It's more of a uni- it's more of a universal. You're getting a you're getting a whole um a whole uh cuisine at yes. Taco Bell versus just chicken, which is like Well, you know. but uh, but also too, I I there's a surprising I'm surprised at how few people I know when I say KFC they scoff. Okay, because it got such a bad rap after certain items got released. And then also, how many people I know that when I say KFC, they go, come on, dude, Popeyes. Taco Bell's got no comp unless you're in L.A. and they got a Del Taco. I mean, but, you know, how, how close you come to I will to say Del I've Taco. never had Popeyes, but I, I doubt it's better than KFC. It's not, but Popeyes is great. Yeah. So when somebody says they prefer That's when everybody was, Popeyes beating, everybody was like, beating each other up for that sandwich a couple of years ago, right? Yes. Popeyes tastes like if, K, if extra crispy was better. Okay. And that's that, that's all they got. They got this. They got you know. This was it. it wasn't a blowout. It was admirable win though. Fifty eight point three to forty one point right. seven. I took that L. I took that bell. But I still love you, babe. I love you too. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man. Yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds.